Hey guys, it's Backpack Jack. I'm at work and it's lunchtime and that sun is looking really good at my warehouse door. So instead of eating lunch in the kitchen with everybody else, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab my jacket, my lunch bag, my sunglasses, and we Going out the back door. Oh, into that glorious sun. I'm gonna go find somewhere to eat lunch outside. Come on along with me. So this is where I work, Monday to Friday. It's pretty darn industrial. That's a big natural chain yard over there. Ravine, gully, sewer system. It's not very picturesque, but it is nicer being out here to have lunch than being stuck in a factory. So for now, my little lunch pot. So this is my new lunch bag. Spring is here, the sun is out, the weather is great. We're about 16 degrees with a little bit of wind today. Um, 16 degrees Celsius for all you non-Canadians. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is eating my lunch outside. So I packed up my Woods lunch bag with some lunchable stuff and the very first thing I brought <laughs> is this garbage bag. Ground's a little bit wet. There used to be a picnic table here, but it's gone, so I'm gonna have to improvise a little bit. So that is the beginning. Got a water bottle in here. It's nothing fancy. It is um, stainless steel, so it will go on a fire. But um, yeah, it's got about I think it's got about 28 ounces in there. Or so the bottle leaks. It doesn't have a very good lid on it, but it's perfect for this lunch bag because it doesn't get tipped over most of the time. Over in this pocket have this little treasure here that's going to help me make some good lunches out here and that is a bottle of alcohol and an alcohol stove. So I'm going to heat up some water, make some meals. Stuff. I've got this loaded up for a few days anyways. This is some salami and cheese just for snacks. I've been eating that through the day. Today I've got some leftover chicken from dinner last night that I'm going to heat up. I've got an MSR Seagull cook pot minus the lid. Uh, one of the downsides of camping, hiking, adventuring with kids is that things tend to go missing. And uh, my pot lid is one of them. So there is aluminum foil in there that I can use instead. I've got a windscreen for my stove. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tools. So a camp mug, basically. A cup of coffee. It's not insulated. It won't keep the cup very warm, but I don't have a very long lunch break anyways. And then here I got a little bit of food. So we've got a can of barbecue chicken breast. Lemon pepper tuna. Lemon pepper tuna goes with one of my all-time favorite trail meals. That is um, ramen noodles. These are roast pork flavored uh, selection, not actually top ramen, but really good. The flavor packs in these are really tasty. Um, 
the other thing here that goes with that, with the noodle soup, one of my new favorite recipes is combining these two soups to make super noodle soup and then add in a can of tuna to go with it and um, this is one of my favorites, lemon pepper. Great, great flavor, very robust carbs and protein. That's one of my favorite meals. I'm going to try to stay away from that a little bit and branch out a bit. So, the grocery store, we got some Knorr Sidekicks. This is garlic butter with lemon. And the great thing about these is they are cheap, but they also only require water. They boil the water, cook them up, and that's all you need. Which we love for backpacking food. And chicken fried rice, same deal. Just add in water, boiling water, and cook it. And I think that would taste really good probably with this, but it's going to taste really good with my less favorite chicken, I believe. And then in a Snacks here. I've got some uh, Asiai blueberry flavored dark chocolate covered. Uh, I don't know if it's real fruit or pretend fruit, but they're really tasty. And then we've got a handful of assortment in here of coffee, hot chocolate, cappuccino, that sort of stuff. So, whatever the mood may be. And then a little bottle of soy sauce. Now I'm not backpacking this anywhere. I have to walk a whole. 50 feet from my office so I'm not worried about the weight and I'm not worried about it being breakable so this is what's in there for now. Ditto hot sauce. Fresh black peppercorn. It's got a pepper mill attached to it. And lastly in this main compartment, I'm not going to take it out, is a little cutting board. Just happen to have it fit in there perfectly. And then this front pocket here, I've got some baby wipes and a Ziploc bag. A couple extra Ziploc bags for the leftovers. I've got a few pieces of aluminum foil. I can make a pot lid for my pots. I can uh, improvise a windscreen, all sorts of stuff. But for now, basically, it's just to be a pot lid. Uh, that is a wool homemade washcloth scrub out the pot and again I'm just away from the office so I'm not worried about dirty dishes out here pot lifter normally I, if I'm on the trail I'm just going to use my um, Leatherman or my other multi-tool but here we're just going to use that because it fits perfectly in the bag cutlery set for camping nothing fancy fork knife and a spoon it's got a bottle opener on the side right there as well and then to get this stove lit, I always have EDC a lighter on me, but dome bar and a scraper and a lighter. And that is my lunch bag. And this for now is my little lunch spot until I find somewhere within walking distance that's a little bit better. You can see I'm right by the road, right by the ditch. It's not very picturesque. But as I said before, it is way better than being cooped up inside. Now that the spring is here and the sun is shining. So guys, that's a look at my lunch kit that I'm using at the office to take advantage of the great weather and be able to get outside a little bit more often. Maybe practice a little bit of bush cooking, a little bit of bushcraft skills while I'm out here. Who knows? All I know is that I want to be outside in the fresh air and sunshine, and this is one of the ways I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> I hope whatever you're doing, you're making it happen too. Have an awesome day, and thanks for watching. Take care.